By this we, can, we have covered also uh, the second uh, scenario and the first two are the most common scenarios, that is what, what you usually want to do. But there are many other very specific scenarios that you can now support by using our print management data entity. Before, them, uh, before that, without that, you really don't have any other option than going and manually doing your job over and over again. So let's see this scenario, copy between customers. That is something that uh, uh, some of our clients were asking us uh, for help and we were not able earlier to help, but now we are. The scenario is the following. Their business process is such that they want to have the setup, the customer specific setup. So they are not using this common setup on, let's say, customer invoice, and maybe they don't use uh, email tokens for identifying the emails, uh, email addresses, but they have a customer specific setup. We often hear it if that is a result from their legacy system. So they migrated from the legacy system into D365 and now they need to make the settings on every customer. And the settings should be the same, basically. So how can it be done? Well, you can simply go and configure whatever you want on just one customer. And with standard D365, then you have to, have to repeat it over and over again on I don't know how many thousand customers. Now you can export that setup into Excel and then open the Excel file and copy and paste that row because one row will correspond to this one customer. So copy it as many times as you need. Modify just the account number of the customer and import the same Excel. So we're going to do exactly that. Let's see our test data. I will be working on... Uh, let's go here on these customers and modify the print management uh, on USPI. I don't want any overwrite so that we have a clear starting point. And also, so now on USPI I don't have any setup, customer specific setup. And here on USMF I have it on D001 and US004. So I'm going to remove it from US004. So now the situation is that I have only on D001 the customer specific print management. Let's export now into Excel and analyze that Excel. So we will use this print management export job and we will say yes, the same setup is here. So from but I can I will use only from USMF and only for the customer invoice. I can also go and say uh, filter also for the note type, but even if I don't do that, uh, I will get few records in uh, Excel and I will remove the unnecessary records. So I'm going to leave this uh, the way it is here. And now we will, uh -huh, sorry, we need to delete this and do uh, one more setup because we want now a different uh, format. So it's very simple. Just say remove entity. Yes. And now say add entity the centric print management setup, uh, target data format is now going to be Excel, add and do this uh, filtering. So from USMF company and customer invoice. Okay. Export. And download that uh, Excel. First thing that I always do, I select here everything and click here so that everything gets uh, nor normal size. And you see, you can Im uh, immediately here, based on these two fields, dot instance note type, note type and uh, note specific ID. By them, you can identify what kind of setup this was. So this was note specific setup on the customer table and these were those two setups on the account receivable module. So I'm going to delete this. And let's say that I want the same setup imported into few other, let's say US001 and US002. So I will just and into a few other in USPI company also. So I'm going to copy this and paste it a few more times.
okay? Now I will say here for US001 and US002, so I need to modify here US001 and US002. And then here for the USPI company I will modify data area into USPI and here USPI and here I will use like US004 and US007. Okay, save. Now what we need to do to go into our import job here import and we will need to delete this previous setup because each time when we want to apply a new to import a new file we need to delete this entry and to add a new one so we will remove this and add file excel and we want to upload this excel so it's the last one i have here okay when we import this we expect these other two customers in the USMF company to have the customer specific setup and also in USPI these first two. So let's check that. Import. Successfully we can also check in staging data that everything is completed and we have in USMF uh, legal entity we have the original entry, it just got uh, is, um, imported back and these two additional so those are the three USMF and these are the two USPI uh, entries so let's check that we have them this one was the original one so we expect to have everything uh, here still you see it has override like this and now we expect exactly the same setup in the, the next uh, two and in next uh, two customers so here print management customer invoice you see it's also overwrite and it's also file and the same will be for this one here the centric file it was overwrite and let's check on USPI the same thing the same setup and on this customer the same setup okay so that was the scenario how to copy the setup between the customers